Hey everybody, I'm Philip, and I am here with another video for you, obviously, because I'm talking to you. The last videos I shot were for the Blizz, Conline, the uh, Chains of Domination, and Diablo 4, respectively. I had been meaning to shoot more. I was going to shoot more that night, but I was just super drained after doing those, which sounds odd, but... Um, if you don't know, I'm still recovering from having the plague. I had COVID. I don't think I'm quite out of the woods yet. Got your fuzzy. With that, the past couple nights, I was going to record videos and I just, for the past couple days, I have felt very, very sluggish. And then today, while I was sleeping, the, uh, the smell of cigarettes kind of wafted in a little bit. So it's not here now. Like I don't smell it now. So I don't think that I'm quite purged of the plague yet. I still think my body is trying to fight back and uh, all that. So I'm listening to my body and it said we need to rest. So we have been. So the channel is still Doctor Who Warcraft, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Warcraft, Do Warcraft, Doctor Who, Warcraft, Warcraft, Doctor Who. I'm sorry. <laughs> but hopefully I can interject some new content like this into it. Uh, I am here to watch the Mortal Kombat trailer. My best friend, my bestie, asked me to watch it because he wanted to see me react to it. And I said, okay. <laughs> but you already knew that because you saw the title of the video, didn't you? A little backstory, since this intro isn't long enough yet. <laughs> I grew up with Mortal Kombat because I am old as fuck. I remember Mortal Kombat being an arcade game in the local 7-Eleven. I remember going to said 7-Eleven and playing Mortal Kombat. My favorite character was Scorpion. To this day, is still Scorpion. Loved and love Scorpion. I had it on various consoles. It was the only fighting game I've ever liked. I'm not a fighting game guy. Kind of like I'm not a racing game guy or a racing gamer kind of person, but I love Mario Kart. So I think even if there's not, a, if there's a, a genre of games you don't like, there's there might be one in, in the mix that is, is, is for you. And Mortal Kombat, for me, was that fighting game that I really liked. Watch the movies. I saw the first movie in the theaters. Again, aging myself, I loved it. I did, I did for the times. It was awesome. Part two was a thing. Instead of rebooting Spider-Man every five years, about time we did something that's more than a decade old since the last free, since the last uh, incarnation. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, thank you for staying through that long, long, long intro. So without further ado, without uh, taking any more of the talky time, let's get into Mortal Kombat 2021 and see what this is all about. First learned about this seven years ago on a mission in Brazil to capture a wanted fugitive. When we got there, it tore through our unit in seconds. The target had superhuman abilities. It had the same marking you do, Cole. It's a birthmark. What do you mean? He was born with it. It's not a birthmark, Cole. It means you've been chosen. Throughout history, different cultures all over the world reference a great tournament of champions. That dragon marking? I think it's an invitation to fight for something known. Mortal Kombat. These are your champions. I'm Sonya. That's Kano. I'm Liu Kang. Name's Jax. Kung Lao. Lord Raider. The fate of Earth is in our hands. No matter how many of my people you put in the ground, we will not fail. Kill them. Ooh, nice, Cora. Nice. 
wins. You fucking beauty. All right. That actually looks pretty damn good. I'm actually excited to see this now. I went from not knowing about it until I was asked to watch the trailer. I was like, oh, it's a thing. Cool. And then I thought, uh oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. But it looks like they're taking it seriously. And it looks very much like the spirit of the game. The game is graphic, very graphic. It's known obviously for that. It's known for the fatalities. Looks like they're not uh, skimping out on those details there. And I really like that. Uh, thought Sub-Zero was cool. The get over here needed a little more oomph. Like, get over here. It's uh, like, get, you know, it's, it's like a battle cry. I do appreciate them using Asian actors. Awesome. Awesome. Shut up chair. But yeah, that looked really freaking cool. And I am really, really stoked to see it. I may have to do a, a reaction video to it because yeah, being the Mortal Kombat nerd I am, this looks like it's way more worthy of a watch than I had originally thought when I first heard about this. So what were your thoughts on the Mortal Kombat trailer? Uh, are you an old school gamer like me? You know, we, uh, from the days of the joysticks, this looks like a really dirty, um, without my hand here, this just looks like, <laughs> like I'm holding an invisible joystick, you naughty, naughty people. My only criticism was the, uh, the scorpion bit. I liked everything else. It looks gritty. It looks just badass. It looks really cool. Just the get over here needed more uh, behind it. Was there anything in the trailer that you think could have been better? And, uh, what was your favorite part of the trailer? I don't know if I can really pick, but I mean, seeing Sub-Zero be a badass was cool, but at the same time, I don't know. Like I, I'm such a scorpion mark that I don't want Sub-Zero to overshadow him. I get why he does. I get it. Everyone loves Sub-Zero and I understand why he's a very cool character, but you know, I want Scorpion to get some love too. And it comes out April 16th and on HBO Max, I do have access to that. So I may have to actually do a legit reaction video, as I said, and check it out. So keep an eye out for that in the future. That's going to wrap this one up. As always, I don't have a fancy outro, so I'll simply say thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye. Thank you.